Okay, Dr. Rusak, we are gonna talk about pimples and blackheads. So I've woken up with zits and had blackheads and all of those things. My first question for you is, does what you eat impact whether you get pimples and blackheads? Well, if you've woken up with pimples, you definitely know that. Yeah. Because if you indulge the night before, if you had too much sugar, mm. if you've had dairy, if you've been too stressed, done things that you know that is kind of increase the inflammation in your body, you are going to wake up in the morning with a pimple. That's what it is. It's an inflammation in our body. So anything that increases that inflammation in our body can actually result with pimples on our skin. Hmm. That makes sense. Blackheads are a little bit different. So blackheads is um, keratin material and oil that is produced in our pores. And when it's open to the air, it gets oxidized and turns dark. So it's not really dirt. A lot of people think that if they're gonna scrub their face or wash it very hard and they're gonna get all the dirt out of there, they will not have blackheads. That's not really true. Mm -hmm. So very often, again, it's inflammation in our skin and increased oil production in our oil glands that can lead to the blackheads but also aging skin. When the skin is not nice and tight and the pores kind of become a little bit flappier and they mm -hmm. open up, you have more blackheads. Hmm. If your skin is nice and healthy and tight, you're not gonna have blackheads. You're also not gonna be as reactive and not gonna have as many pimples. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with people doing the Biore strips and all that kind of stuff. How do you get rid of blackheads? Consistent skincare routine mm -hmm. that actually works that is not overwhelming for your skin, mm -hmm. and then good diet. Mm. That really will help you. My next question is, I wear makeup all the time, so much for work. Does makeup impact whether or not you get pimples or blackheads? It does. And I feel, I think that in your profession, it's very hard yeah. because you sometimes have to wear a really heavy makeup mm -hmm. for a very long periods of time, mm -hmm. and it really clogs your skin. So for you, the most important thing is really a face wash. And I think that that's why it's such a passionate product for you, yeah. is really how do you remove all of those things that you know that can lead to breakouts and blackheads. So yes, makeup definitely contributes to that. But if you stick with a good skincare routine, if you mm -hmm. actually do remove it in a smart way where you remove everything, but also help to repair your skin, it will help. Okay, Dr. Rusak, what do I do in the case if I wake up in one or two days before a shoot and I have a massive pimple? Like, I know some people are really inclined to like start popping it. I've done all sorts of weird things like put toothpaste on a pimple. Mm -hmm. Like, how did that go? I mean, not good. I just walked, <laughs> I walked around with toothpaste on my head for a while and that was it. And I felt like I did something. I don't think I did. Um, realistically, what should people do if you wake up and you have something important or a photo day or I don't know what it is? What do you recommend people do? Well, for you specifically, you just call me. Yeah. <laughs> so you can actually see a dermatologist for that. It sounds very frivolous and a lot of people don't know about that. But if you call your dermatologist, we can inject a pimple with anti-inflammatory medication and it literally disappears. But the most important thing is actually not to go after it. Mm -hmm. Don't squeeze it. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard very often. Mm -hmm. But if the visual helps, think about a pimple as a cyst, right? That's a cyst and it's a basically a ball. So you squeeze it out from both sides and sometimes something comes out and you get an instant gratification <laughs> yeah. and you think that you helped yourself. But if it's a ball, if you squeeze it in the center, something comes out, something goes in, in the deeper. So very often you squeeze your pimple and then it just grows bigger, right? Yeah. Or it becomes this really hard, painful purple cyst that can lead to scars because whatever goes in there creates even more inflammation that can scar you. So the most important thing that I ask my patients, please, please, please keep your hands away from that. That is so interesting. But what about, okay, I'm what getting do gross I do, here. actually? <laughs> I'm gonna get really gross. Tell me. When it's really big and really red and like it's ready to pop. Like you still should not pop it. You should just let it do its thing. Let or pop it on. I would it, prefer it. you do let it do its own things. Okay. However, if you really can't, if you really can't <laughs> keep your hands away from that. So a couple of things. Yeah. You wanna make sure that you're hands are very clean. Yeah. You definitely don't want to use your nails because you don't want to damage the skin. Mm -hmm. And if it's really juicy and white, and if you want to squeeze it, use Q-tips and very gently mm -hmm. from the sides, apply pressure to the sides. Okay. And then use hydrocortisone cream. Okay. It's an anti-inflammatory cream. It's not going to over dry your skin like a toothpaste. Because mm -hmm. if you do put a toothpaste, you think that you're drying it out. You are drying it out, but you're also drying out your skin. So then it becomes red and mm -hmm. it's dry and it's already been inflamed and irritated. You can't cover it up. It's all peeling. Then you go after it because you want to remove the peel mm -hmm. and it's catch 22. It just becomes much, much worse. Anti-inflammatory, warm compresses, 
if it's right before your photo shoot, mm -hmm. put cold mm -hmm. because cold will constrict the blood vessel so it's not going to be as red. But warm overall brings inflammation down. Okay. And Great. then call me. And then I'm going to call you. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we hope that you found this video helpful and informative. Thank you, Dr. Rusak, for being here. My pleasure, Emily. Let us know in the comment section below what other questions you have for Dr. Rusak, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.